Welcome to That's Easy, the video tutorial series that helps you use Watlow Easy Zone products. In this installment, you will learn how to install a USB to 485 converter, connect an Easy Zone PM controller to the converter, set the controller's communications options, install Easy Zone Configurator software, and detect the controller with Easy Zone Configurator. We'll be using a laptop computer that has a USB port, an EasyZone PM controller, the controller support tool CD-ROM that came with the controller, and a B&B Electronics USB to 485 converter that's available from Watlow. The USB to 485 converter kit comes with the USB to 485 converter, a USB cable, a CD-ROM with Windows drivers, and an instruction sheet. Begin by inserting the CD-ROM into the computer's CD drive. Connect the converter to the USB cable and connect the cable to a USB port on the computer. When Windows detects the converter, it opens the found new hardware wizard. Note that Windows will detect two new devices, one after the other. First it detects the USB device. After the USB device is installed, it will detect a COM port and go through the installation process a second time. When prompted to Connect to Windows Update to search for software, select No, not at this time, and click Next. Select Install the software automatically and click Next. When the warning regarding Windows testing is displayed, click Continue Anyway. When Windows indicates it is completing the found new hardware wizard, click Finish. Now Windows will detect the new COM port and go through the installation process a second time. Again, when the wizard suggests connecting to Windows Update, select No, not at this time, and click Next. Again, select Install Software Automatically and click Next. Click Continue Anyway at the Windows Testing Warning. And finally click Finish. To check which COM port number has been assigned and verify that there are no conflicts, click the Start button, click Control Panel, click Performance and Maintenance, click System, select the Hardware tab, click Device Manager, and locate and expand the ports list. The RS-485 port is installed as COM6. If there were any conflicts, Windows would indicate it here. Next, let's connect the EasyZone controller to the 485 converter. Depending on the options ordered with the EasyZone controller, the communications connections will either be labeled CF, CD, and CE, or CC, CA, and CB. Connect a wire between the common labeled GND on the converter and the terminal on the controller labeled CF or CC. Connect a second wire between the B plus terminal on the converter and the terminal on the controller labeled CB or CE. Connect a third wire between the A- terminal on the converter and the terminal on the controller labeled CA or CD. Next, let's configure the controller's communications options. Like all EasyZone products, the PM supports the standard bus communications protocol. This model also supports Modbus RTU, so on the Setup Pages communications menu, I've made sure the protocol is set to standard bus. Also, the PM standard bus address or zone number is set to 4. The next step is to get and install the EasyZone Configurator software. You can find it on the Watlow website or on the controller support tool CD-ROM that you received with your controller. EasyZone Configurator works with Microsoft Windows XP with Service Pack 1 or 2 and Windows 2000 with Service Pack 3. When you insert the CD-ROM into your computer's CD-ROM drive, it should 
automatically display a menu of what's available. If your computer doesn't automatically run it, locate the CD-ROM icon in your computer folder and double click it. The CD-ROM includes user manuals for Watlow products, software including EasyZone Configurator and other useful resources including these tutorials found under Video Help. To locate EasyZone Configurator, right-click Software, point to EasyZone, and then EasyZone Configurator and click Extract Files and Install to Local Drive. The Installation Wizard recommends that you close any other Windows programs, so I will close the CD-ROM menu and then click Next. Follow the on-screen instructions, and when the software is installed, click Finish. Let's make sure it works by checking that EasyZone Configurator can detect the controller we have connected to the computer. To launch EasyZone Configurator, click Start on the Windows taskbar, then find and click the EasyZone Configurator program icon in the Watlow EasyZone Configurator group. Make sure the first option is selected and click Next. Since we know Windows calls the converter COM6, I'll set EasyZone Configurator to only check that port for controllers and click Next. If EasyZone Configurator can't find the COM port, you may have to acknowledge an error message and try again. If it cannot find a controller, check the items listed on the screen, then click Repeat Scan. Once one or more controllers are found, EasyZone Configurator displays a list of the found devices. That confirms that it is communicating and shows we have successfully installed the USB to 485 converter and correctly connected and configured the controller. We hope you have found this installment of That's Easy helpful. We'll explore additional topics in other installments.